Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I'm a breast cancer surgeon and I head the Department of Breast Diseases at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. Today I'll be talking about a breast biopsy. Now those ladies who suffer from a breast lump or a lesion in the breast, sometimes the doctor advises them to undergo a needle biopsy. Now needle biopsies can broadly be of two types. One is where you use a finer needle and this is known as FNAC, Fine Needle Aspiration Cytology. So as the name suggests, it is Fine Needle Aspiration Cytology. We use a fine needle, we just put it inside the lump and we get some cells out. The problem with FNAC is that it might not always tell us what is wrong. Sometimes we might miss hitting the lump. So a better biopsy technique these days is called true cut or core needle biopsy. And this can either be done under ultrasound guidance or without ultrasound guidance. Both these procedures don't take more than 10 to 15 minutes to perform and both of them are done under local anesthesia. That means you just numb up the area and you carry out this procedure. Both are OPD procedures, you don't require admission for them and the pain after both the procedures is quite tolerable and just a simple painkiller, a single tablet of a painkiller on that day is more than enough. We also recommend to the patients that after this biopsy they can put an ice pack and that further reduces the pain. The reports usually take two to four days to come and based on the reports the doctor would suggest whether you require surgery or not. Now a common misconception which ladies have is that if you biopsy a lesion then it might start spreading or the cancer might start increasing in size. But you need to understand that if we don't biopsy a breast lesion, how will we know whether it is cancerous or non-cancerous? So please, if your doctor is recommending a biopsy, please do go ahead with that as it will give you clarity regarding the nature of the lesion. If you have any further queries regarding breast biopsies, please do write in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to listen to more videos regarding breast health. Thank you.